Okay, we're back. Um, if the last video, the Valentine one, was kind of soft, I'm sorry. I'm in the basement. I'm not always down here. I'm not sure of my modulation. But here we are at the Halloween box. And Halloween is my favorite because my birthday's in October. So I'm always like this, you know, girly bitch. <laughs> no, not really. Anyhow, I did the same design. I forget if I drew this by hand or if I had a stencil. I probably did it by hand. That's Crayola. And uh, the cat is felt with a little felt red collar That's, and green paint eyes. Let's see, we get started out. Mm. Little slips of paper for notes. A little baguette. Well, these were fun. I should. There's not too much of this. Of this um, book, so I have time to probably open this up real quick and show you some of these. Um, really kind of tip of it. Now there was one of these in the valentine one too and i didn't find it until i was putting stuff away but it's just a little book that i zigzagged up the sides and uh it was a swatch of some kind with a little pearl bead and all that's probably in there closed under that oh it's a little sewing kit that i started but that's just a little piece of cord i think i I had a wind sock hanging in the hall at that downtown house, and it was a really steep bunch of stairs, so because the wind sock, it was a stringy kind that kept getting caught in the gutter, and it would get caught in the lattice, so I'd always um, get cord from my wind sock until it was nothing left, and that was a piece of that and plastic canvas. These little ghosts are felt, and I did the edge with glow in the dark and um, permanent ink. The eyes and mouth. There's a whole little set of them. I guess I thought I'd sew them on a shirt of Brad's or something, which would have been kind of cool. But now I have them, and they're you know, just hanging around. And all kinds of little hearts that I painted to look like little pumpkins. And I don't know where I saw the idea, but I'm sure it was someone else's. I like that one. He says boo on the side there. Little bat pattern. The little stars from the dollar store. It's a brick rack and pipe cleaner. He has just a little collection of this and that. And magazine snippets. I would go through that craft books. And if I saw something, I thought, oh, that's a good idea. Not to copy it exactly, of course, but, and I never do anything anyway. I'm always busy making videos about it. <laughs> but have the ideas, and I go through with a 3 by 5 card through catalogs and magazines a lot of the time. And pin around, trace around my 3 by 5 card. Whatever section of the page I'm interested in and then go back and clip it so that I can put all these of my ideas, and I've got a whole bunch of them done that way, in a little card file. This was my favorite, though. Count Dracula. He's got on real denim jeans, and the bat on his shoulder, and Google eyes. He's a real cad, isn't he? And that was also going to go on one of Brad's shirts. And, oh, it was a pattern. I didn't draw those, I don't guess. But here's some patterns I saved of jack-o'-lanterns. And just uh, folded an old envelope, cut it catty corner, and hole punched to hold my little patterns. See, it was an envelope. And this was started way downtown. Just That's just an empty one. And some of these IBM manual books or whatever, operating manuals, had the cards. Some were blank, some not. 
and some old paper. And that pretty much sums this one up. Except for um, a sheet with some ideas. See, I started this in 99. Happy birthday to me. See there? Keep that in mind. For sure, on the 24th. Halloween. I just pinned it in. Happy-go-lucky eye, huh? More later. Love ya.